You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, and streaming live on Ustream. This is AfterBuzz TV for Boardwalk Empire. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest Boardwalk Empire news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, picking up where the show leaves off, and the buzz continues, it's After Buzz TV for Boardwalk Empire. Thank you very much. Hello, Boardwalk Empire fans. Kevin Undergar here, along with... Michelle Macedo. And tonight's episode of Boardwalk Empire, entitled Georgia Peaches. This is Season 2, Episode 10. Georgia Peaches is the title. And, you know, Michelle, you, you would not be familiar with Ty Cobb. No, I was not. I I thought you were psychic that you knew that the sign ball was Ty Cobb, but you saw the signature. Ty Cobb was known as the Georgia Peach. That was his nickname. Oh. He also was one of the no. He was one of the greatest hitters in baseball, but also known as one of the worst uh, people or one of the worst human beings to play the game. He was notorious. He was hated. Mm. So it was very interesting. And what was the quote? There was a great quote that I think the lawyer had. To, He's to a monster. Keep- the but he teddy. Gets, basically, but he gets the job done. Yeah, but he right? gets the job done. He when he's on your side, that's who you want on your side. So it is, and that kind of speaks to this new attorney and yes, also exactly. to Nucky. And the fact that there was only one other mention of Peaches, it was when the Commodore was meeting with. Well, it was Jimmy and the Commodore and all the the town fathers meeting, and they were complaining because it's it's Labor Day, it's tourist season. And the blacks are on strike, and they said the peaches are all going to be yeah. Maybe brown. that's uh, that's uh, talking about the South, Southern Georgia. I don't know. I think that uh, probably this is tied to tied to the fact that you know slavery and and rebellion. Yeah. What do you think that's about? I think that's what the tie is. It's like it's where where it all you know was messy. It was yeah. the messiest was was down south, and of course you know going brown is a is a callback to. Um, you know, the blacks going on strike, et cetera, et cetera. So just very subtle symbolism. I'm surprised that they made this the whole title of the show, but they do this all the time to us. Yeah, it seems like just one fraction of the show. One fraction of the show. the title. But a lot going on. Uh, Another great episode. I haven't seen a bad one yet on this series. No, me neither. Uh, And there's only two episodes left of this season. And obviously a lot's going to happen. Uh... I, I wonder, we didn't, we were looking over our like topic list. Um, uh, Nucky. I feel like, yeah, we should, we can, you know what, let's, let's, let's just touch on Nucky and then maybe we'll finish with, with Jimmy who it's, he, he's gone from like pimp running the town to. Yeah, not so hot shot. Right. Everybody's when, enemy now. And, Everyone. You know, and when, and when did Nucky, Nucky warned him, you, you know. Yeah, you're gonna find out how hard this is. And everyone is telling him that. You too. don't even. He said you don't even know the rules. Like you haven't. You don't even know the rules of this game. Yeah, he's in over his head. Yeah, and Definitely. now and it's like. And last week, you know, he had girls around him, and like it was. Like, I know, and this week. And he showed weakness too, because with the girls, he was drunk, and he was doing all the things that. Uh, that went against what he did originally to become successful. Yeah, you know, he was the sharp one. He was the. Yeah. He was the cool one. He was the one. That was advising Nucky in the right way. Yeah, he didn't do all and that. And now stuff. we've seen him. We're seeing him crumble. Anyway, Nucky and poor Mrs. Schroeder. I know. So we see Nucky is he's fired his attorney, and it looks like he's he's gonna do time. And he calls his old friend Arnold Rothstein. And I keep saying, when you run into trouble on the show, you have to call the Jewish people. Yeah, you do. That's have, true. Yeah, they're the smart ones. Every time. You know, Arnold Rothstein. And, yeah. you know, and these are real, you know, are the true figures in history. But, again, I always say, like, that that's how they do business. Yeah, that's... The Jewish people just much, you know. And even if you notice, and, again, when we touch on talking about Jimmy, um, talking about Meyer Lansky, 
he's always the one that has the okay no this is what we'll do yeah and, and the we, irish are the ones killing everyone they go like and the italians too the, oh, and, yeah, and, and the, italians. an italian is such a hothead who flies off the handle and you see that in capone oh, uh yeah but but anyway it's funny so we 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 see uh Nucky, Nucky, you know, d dealing with his his own problems and whatnot, but really, it that world is much more about Mrs. Schroeder. Yes, and the definitely. fact that the daughter is it, it is paralyzed with polio. Polio, and and she has, and, and this is a very Catholic thing. She is convinced herself that it's, it's her, her sins. Fault. Her sins have caused this because of her affair with Owen what is that her affair name? with Owen her taking blood money from Nucky to, uh, she, you know having her the whole situation. hand in her husband being, being killed yeah uh maybe pregnancy back overseas I mean I just mm. think and and I and I buy this because this is a very Catholic way of thinking yes yeah, a Catholic guilt the Catholic guilt and always thinking that um if you do if you do something wrong you're gonna pay for it oh no God's mm. gonna see God punished you God's yeah, exactly. And and so I totally buy this. Um, it's interesting. The whole episode was a lot about a lot. We've seen more and more religion. You notice that? Yeah. yeah. All throughout these. Yeah. So that's true. and it was, of course, she reaches out to the church. The church, this one priest, basically. And and she and he calls her out and says, you know, when you confessed to me, you'd said something about temptation. Temptation, and basically was intonating that, you know. You, you had a hand in all this yeah which is i think for a mother and for anyone would be the worst thing to hear horrible after going to a church and praying for hours about your child that's dying of polio or perhaps dying or really the worst. sick but you know now you're not catholic no so you don't but let me tell you how accurate this is mm. after 9 11 maria uh maria and i we wanted to go to church the the sunday after 9 11 we just we'll go to any church we just felt so bad like yeah. the rest of the country and so a friend of ours really is Catholic, and she was like, oh, we can come to my church. So we, we went to the church, and the, the priest, in his sermon, he, he, he said to us, this is a, you know, this terrible thing happened, but this is actually a great opportunity for all of us to reflect on all the things we've done wrong oh, in our cool. lives and i was like cool. oh my god like that's really sending <laughs> like, out positive vibes you know it was like it was basically like we need to now think about what we what we did to bring this on ourselves yeah, let's punish ourselves because so, we did something we had to have done something for this to have happened yeah and so I, it, for and i could see an irish mom an irish catholic mom reaching out to the church having those feelings already and the and of course the priest saying to her basically like yeah this is on you because it can't be god's fault yeah no so someone has to be blamed yeah it's what you did to god exactly and so, so you deserve it and so she goes home and and what does she do which is again a, a, another classic catholic move she takes all the, their money i know and all these necklaces and i'm and sure jewelry and all because she feels like it's well well no probably from i would think from nucky yeah oh, that's right. and i think so she thinks it's like this dirty like blood money yeah and she goes and she offers it to the church to the priest that's her savings yeah and says you know basically you know here now maybe this will make my daughter better and of course he takes it <laughs> oh yeah i know at first i thought that he would maybe do the right thing and not take it no but we saw him put the alcohol the the cup which of was great and again it, it, you know which is great writing you know maria i was t i was talking to you know maria this week and we were watching homeland which we have mm. to start covering it after yeah, it's a great show so cool. but you when you see that show don't tell and all you see is the priest drinking drinking alcohol in the time where alcohol is illegal and slipping it behind the flower pot so she doesn't see him so you know clearly he's yeah and he's hypocritical on this like act somewhat corrupt but I, I had said as we talked about i had said to you i'm not so sure that the priests of today wouldn't take that money no i think either. they absolutely would they would depend but I mean, all but i grew up with who. many 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 priests you know my family was one of those families who were very involved in the church and so we had many priests we since i was a kid in the house all the time and i i'll say that one thing about them they they uh not that they had the vow of poverty but they didn't they didn't yeah none of them really took in 
partook in material things. They they had a decent lifestyle. You know, their clothes, their you know room and board is paid for. They, it's not like they went without anything. Yeah, it's like why? But nothing fancy. But they would take the money because they would use the money for in the, the church. church to help poor people to to do work on the church, whatever it is. I have to say that in my experience with the church, um, so I, I didn't see that kind of corruption with the yeah. financials. It wasn't so much with that. In, in fact, they. they could be very generous and, and generous, not just to Catholics, but to all face all people in need. You so, know, it's funny that this whole thing came up. I went to an all girls Catholic high school. So uh, being not Catholic, that was really interesting. My parents are both really Catholic, but really? no longer. They don't want anything <coughs> to do with it. Oh, wow. So you guys grew up in school. India. So that's interesting. Yeah, I know there's 8% of India that's Catholic. 8%? And that's Goa, the Portuguese colony that we're from. And because it's Portuguese, it's Catholic. So are you Portuguese too? Um, no, the last name is Portuguese. That's why the last name is Portuguese. Then who knows with like raping and pillaging and all that. But um, but that's why Goa is the only state that's Catholic, primarily Catholic. Ah, yeah. okay. So you know a thing or two about a thing or two. Yeah, a, a okay. thing or two about guilt. But our neighbor, do you know Dr. Uh, Dr. Gene Scott? He was a famous televangelist. He had his own channel and he asked for money to give to God. I don't know why him specifically, but everyone did it. And he made millions and millions of dollars. Right. And then he actually, uh, he's our neighbor, was our neighbor. And when my dad moved in, um, he said that he wasn't gonna have any N words for neighbors. Oh boy. If my dad's an Indian. Mm. And, uh, and then he tried to sue my dad for moving in. So he, but he was Protestant, or he, would... um, he was, yeah, I think he. Must yeah, have been Protestant. Protestant. Yeah, again, the Catholic priests, uh, you know, I, I'll give them that, and for all, all their many, many shortcomings, it seems like they, you know, they'll take the money, but they rationalize it. It's for the church. It's to help other and people. And maybe it goes to the church. It does. No, it does. It, you generally, I, I, the one priest I know wouldn't have put it in their pocket, but they would take it. Yeah. They would absolutely take it. Yeah. They would take. If, if a drug yeah, yeah, if, a, if, a, if a drug dealer they took money from the mafia forever so all the mafia guys used to give tons notorious for giving hundreds of thousands of dollars to the church with their guilt money thinking that it was gonna like you know exonerate them in some way yeah. um interesting let's talk about the uh her son who's a smart who's Teddy. a what a smart ass i know to pretend his legs are crippled oh. to get it to get attention as you pointed out and he was just watching when the parents visited her in the hospital, mm -hmm. and I knew he was thinking something. Well, when they kept that single shot on him, yeah, and they the the shot stayed on him. I'm like, okay, what's that for? Yeah, something's up. Very interesting when she said, "No, he's just like his father." Do you believe that? Mm. Do you believe that? No, his original. Yeah, but the, but here's why I say, mm. Michelle, it's worth asking the question. Think of the the cruel remark he would say mm. think of the fact that he said he said i know you burned that's true your father's house down nucky and think at the end you know him staring at that picture okay yeah the picture at the end kind of yeah which doesn't necessarily mean he's, he's a bad enough. guy it means he just knows that maybe maybe who knows he, he his father maybe there was wrongdoing in the father's death i think he does know about and that the mother too and much he probably does but he not he might not be he might not be. A, he might be like his dad. His That's dad true. was a bad guy. Well, and he, you know, he saw a lot of awful, awful things. Right. His dad beating her up, and then she miscarried. He saw, of yeah, that. saw a lot of bad. That things. would be. And it's funny. So traumatizing. You know, kids can take that one of two ways. You know, you have the kids who see that, and then are like, nope, they they yeah. protect the parent, the mom for the rest of their lives, mm -hmm. and they'll never do that in their house. And then, of course, you have the kids who go the other way and see that and say yeah, that, oh, that's really a fine angry. example. Let me follow it. Yeah, exactly. Uh. It's interesting when he says, "Don't worry, Dad, I won't tell." Oh, I know. To, and Nucky, what was Nucky's reaction? It seemed, didn't seem like he knew. He was like pretty shocked. He just right was just shocked. <laughs> yeah. It was it was nothing else than just shock. Because he couldn't deny it because it's true. It was true. It's funny, you know, when when it was when the doctor said to her, "Sometimes things are just out of our control." Oh yeah. We I knew that was yeah, such a setup that it was it was all gonna go this way yeah she tries to give the money there's only so much you can do yeah it's a hospital full of kids i mean 
And you, and you knew at the end when the doctor gives the final news that your daughter's going to be paralyzed yeah. and the two of them are dressed in black. I mean, they, they look like they're going to a funeral. Mm. You just knew nothing good was going to come out yeah. of it. Um, let's talk about... Let's talk about our friend Van Alden. Okay. So He's fun. He's fun. It, let's, first, we see him with, with the nanny now who's taking care of... The baby, the baby. Abigail. He he gets all excited when he sees a letter come in from his wife. Oh, yeah. He gets angry. Why, this must be given to me immediately. Yeah. Do you think she was keeping that aside from him? Like maybe she didn't want the. Am I reaching here? Maybe the nanny didn't want him to get a letter from the wife because she's starting to really enjoy mm. this role. I mean, all she's talking about how much she loved being a baby, how much how much she loved taking care of babies. Now she took care of them her whole yeah. life. And she seems very happy in that role. Yeah. Do you think this had that had anything to do with it? Or that's just an innocent mistake? Um, maybe in, in a passive way, that's true. Because passively, she she could have, I mean, she probably figured it was important, so she could have just handed it to him. So I think in a passive way, she was just waiting for him to find it. But she didn't hide it that well or anything. I mean, obviously it was on the counter. But I don't think she wants him to come back. No. No. And you know, it's funny, her appearance mm -hmm. is very much... Her, her appearance very much looks like a future like partner of his. The way she's, you know, the, she, the way she's not a lot of makeup, very kind of plain. Yeah. It seems like she'd be the perfect partner yeah. for this guy. Yeah, no communication. Right. And she doesn't please want, pick she up just some, loves the baby. And please pick up some shortbread cookies. Oh. <laughs> so then we see, you know, we see Van Alden being uh, interrogated, you know, um, by Esther Randolph uh, to prepare him for the trial. And I have to say, although I've been rooting against him and for Nucky, I have to say in this moment, I kind of, I kind of feel bad for Van Alden. I don't like, I don't like him being Esther Randolph's bitch. No, me like, neither. Like they're really making like a fool out of him. Like he's really just, they they look at him like, okay, our dumb little OCD psycho. Yeah, exactly. You'll just, you just, you know. Um, We'll wind you up and you do what we tell you. Yeah, she's pretty condescending. And I kind of bum out for him. Yeah. I'm like, wait a second. Yeah. You know, you can't do that to him. That's our guy. Yeah, definitely. Only we can and make fun of one, him. And he's like cared about this and been invested longer than anybody else. And they're just tooling on him. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, and I was like, wow, I wonder if other people feel that way. Yeah, sometimes, you know, I do feel bad for him in those moments. And then ultimately, I want I don't want him to win. No, but but it's but I definitely don't like seeing him be a pawn. No. I'm really not liking Esther Randolph and her guy. No, me neither. Not a lot of fun. No. Uh, Eli. Oh yeah. Brother Eli. Well, the whole, all the guys. You know, another bad move. Yeah. F you know, from him to you know he you know again we're gonna get into Jimmy's mess, but during the sit down with the town fathers and the Commodore, he learns that the deputy went and spoke to Esther Randolph. Mm. And he's like, oh boy, you know what? I have to, you know, put a lid on him. And so when they decide to uh, break the strike with the blacks and beat them, he must grab a couple and say, what a great opportunity to beat the deputy down. Yeah. So he beats him down, doesn't kill him, which was a mistake. And, yeah. and I have to say, for the way they've shown him in the past, I mean, Eli's a killer. Eli yeah. killed Schroeder. He's killed God knows how that's many other people way that he for Nucky. And deals with things. That's right. And the other politician who came to his house, he killed him. I am so surprised he showed weakness and didn't kill the deputy. Mm -hmm. But maybe that's why he is flawed and he's not really meant for the role of leader. He's mm. always going to be second in command. He's always going to be someone to take orders because at the end of the day, he is a screw up. Yeah. Like he should have, I can't believe he didn't kill the, have the deputy killed. Yeah. And then even worse, he does this to him and then goes and kind of smears it in his face in the deputy and oh, kind of says, kind of says to him like, um, almost, at, and this was a callback to what the priest said to, um, to Mrs. Schroeder. He, where the priest said to Mrs. Schroeder, like, uh, we, the things we do end up 
yeah you know causing these Karma, problems in our life yeah. basically problems in our life and like, so he, what did i so, do to deserve yeah what this? so it's the same thing he says which again is such great writing the mm. parallel to what went on with with mrs schroeder and the priest he says uh it's just you know when i get my when the bad things happen to me i i ask what did i do yeah so it's such and a so i guess his crit. intention was to scare the deputy and say okay i'll be good but totally backfires deputy picks the phone right up and says get me to the i want it the post office which we know is van alden's office and where esther randolph is and rats him out now he's in jail oh yeah uh, you know and 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 esther you know basically puts him into a corner and says listen if you want out you have to like we want nucky not you and which is really rough on nucky because of course he's going to sell out nucky he's yeah, that, that well, bridge is long burned he's going to? oh yes yeah why wouldn't he i just want as a shred of me wants to believe that he's not no 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 you know what and you wouldn't blame him because he went to nucky and begged for forgiveness and nucky basically said f you first so, and, right, on your and rightfully so because of you know the brother went to a place that you you he warned him you can come we can fix this if you stop he wouldn't stop the only reason he stopped is because he was willing to stop is because he was in a position of weakness it wasn't mm -hmm. because it was let me do the right thing yeah no. and knew that and so no 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 he's of course gonna he's of course gonna try and sell out nucky um and just wow it's just just it's great writing because it puts more pressure on your protagonist in this case in this weird world i i see nucky as the protagonist yeah again we love this about breaking bad we love this about uh, the sopranos is the more pressure you put on that lead character the greater the you know the the, the character is for yeah. well, the Everyone greater else is, is failing that's revealing well the biggest failure of them all if if hmm. if, if we may move move over to is 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 jimmy oh i know my goodness you Such know it's bag. all coming unglued we we see again I, and i love seeing I, I i always joke like they're like the muppet babies but when we see like baby capone baby luciano yeah. ba uh, baby meyer lansky and jimmy work together and they've been trumped by Nuc nucky because the whole town now has alcohol thanks to nucky's guns for whiskey maneuver yeah uh subtle play on, on guns for oil for sure the way they mm. always you know bring us they have these very nice subtle callbacks to what's going on today and the town soaked and now these guys are stuck with all of this booze yeah and uh luciano and and capone are saying hey, it's your town you w you tell us you're supposed to have the answers they all go to jimmy just like they used to go to nucky right and he knew what to do but jimmy's mistake is that he's letting the things go like going well, beating up as we said at the top strikers. of the show he got weak you know the drinking last week the womanizing uh, yeah. you, you 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 know we never we saw nucky kind of womanize and party but we never saw nucky drunk in no. the first season and you no. know when all Very those much other guys were in a room like sometimes after being with mrs schroeder he like went in the other room he right. wasn't like that anymore. no all business that's what i liked about him and that's why he's a great leader and so we once we saw jimmy last week being like that it was like uh oh yeah, no. you're gonna come unglued Although Jimmy's instincts are right, like let's not let when when the town fathers meet with him, and all these like big fat, stupid white, racist bigots, yeah. typical fat cats up in the up in the really office, old school, and we still see this today, thinking they they know how to quote straighten people out, mm. and so it's and and Jimmy has the right idea. No, just give them they give them their raise. Let's move on. Let's move this bigger fish to fry. No, yeah. no, no. That no. We need to teach them a lesson. And I can't. Jeez, no, <laughs> I wish I had another twenty minutes on this because I would digress and tell you so many stories in Hollywood where I see all the time. I see these big fat suits mm -hmm. in Hollywood do the same stupid thing. They get so focused on no, f them, f this party. I'm going to win. I'm going to teach them a lesson. I'm going to break their spirit. Blah, blah, blah. Shut the fuck up and yeah. get to business. Yeah. See the big picture. Yeah. And let's do do business. But I see this constantly today. And of course, again, which is why I love this show, everything just is so, it's like so much change, but yet it stays the same. I know. And so, of course, Jimmy's instincts were the right instincts because he has the instincts to be the leader. It's just that there's just 
too much. He's filling too big shoes. And as he yeah. said, my shoes are a little tight right now. Yeah. As he tells Chalky. He's not trusting himself. That's what he needs to do. Well, and he's, he's not trusting himself. And really, he had that whole room against him. I know. So it was really hard to be able to say. And you've got the Commodore just grunting and grunting and grunting. And just I when know. I thought the Commodore was actually going to like say something smart. I know. He's like... You, you, you know, lift show your dress. them your cock. You show them your cock, and then he's like, Why don't you lift up your dress and let them, let them fuck you? Yeah. Because, so he clearly he is the old guard out. saying, Yeah, let's take the bats to them. Um, you think it's since he's been much more vulnerable that maybe he would change. Yeah, but no, no, they usually that. don't. Yeah, he's no, they usually don't. No, change. they usually go out like that, unfortunately. Hey, you know, well, I shouldn't say that because you do see when a lot of guys. You know, mean people get old. They do become. They. They. We. We always joke. They become um, toothless saber tooth tigers. You know, yeah. they like. They. Their fangs fall out. So. Yeah. But mm, at least not with. Not with him. Mm. Not with him. Uh, and we see that. You know, he. He gives Jimmy takes this bad advice, and he meets with Chalky, and Chalky says, "You're gonna pay those. Fi yeah, fine. Get me out of jail." When, but I love this about Chalky. This is why I love about Chalky because he's not. He's he yeah, he's he wants to get paid. He's a gangster. He's he's a businessman. Whatever. But he takes that other extra step to say no. You will pay my people three thousand each family yeah. three thousand dollars, and you will bring me the four guys who did it. Yeah. Nope. Can't do that. I can't bring you the four guys. Okay. Deals off. Yeah. And and I was thinking. I mean, we saw in an earlier episode when Nucky did that, he got one of the guys mm -hmm. for for Chalky to go in and torture and punish and right. stuff. So I thought that for sure he would do that, but I guess No, well it's it's it it would be I think it would be too hard to deliver four clansmen at a time when the clan was very powerful. Mm. I think of the backlash. I mean they would have to but at the same time, you know, you're the mob. You guys are gangsters. Yeah, that's true. Figure it out. Yeah. Well, figure it out. And do like, it deal on with do it. it on the QT. They don't make the most popular decisions. Do it do it on the QT, but it's it's What's but QT? but on the quiet. Oh. <laughs> on the quiet without anyone knowing. <laughs> Do it without anyone knowing. And, uh, but, I mean, not that that would be easy because it certainly wouldn't be. Yeah. Um, so we see that he's botched that. He's botched the liquor. And then, worst of all, you know, he really underestimated Manny the Butcher. One, he's one yeah. tough, mean old Jewish guy. And when uh, he says, just pay the guy. Again, he's like, whatever. Like, no, 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 no. Don't, yeah, don't be blowing him off and acting. And and what it looked like, he it didn't it, go. It appeared like, well, it appeared like he tried to kill him. He failed, and now he's giving him five thousand yeah. dollars to try to get out of it. And he's sending someone else to pay. So it looks like just the act of a coward. Yeah, exactly. And unfortunately, that of course that wasn't the case. But again, when you're just spread too thin, and you're not focusing. You make these kind of He's decisions. He's getting overwhelmed by all this little stuff that everyone's pointing out. And doesn't matter. We see, you know, just when he has a nice moment with Angela, she tells him this little joke. I know for the first time in forever. Forever, they they, they have the nice moment. She and tells him a joke. And you notice what Jimmy through the episode, his eyes were half closed. That's why Michael Pitt's such a great actor mm. because he's so tired, he's so drained. And in that scene, his eyelids are halfway down, mm. and you can see how burnt out he is. And, yeah. and but they, they kind of have this nice moment. And I think we should have seen it coming because, you know, when you have a nice moment like that, it usually falls with a, a real dark one. Yeah. I had no idea. No, me neither. Did you? No. And this, when I saw him. I thought they were just like picking that storyline back up. But when I saw him come up to the house, we were talking as it happened. And I said, geez, I said, I don't know if this guy's going to kill because he's a butcher and he's tough, but he's fair. Hmm. So I don't know if he'll kill the wife, but then again, he's a businessman, and, and he's angry. And he's angry, and th oh. this is how you scare your, you know, your enemies into yeah. showing them, like, no, don't mess with me. So as but a business you decision, called it all right before it happened, which I did not see coming. Oh, you didn't think, yeah? No, about someone in the shower. Oh, and the lesbian and we, lover. I yeah. knew. I knew because here's why I knew. He he had the gun. Jimmy would have been out of the shower, defenseless. Yeah. And so, so, and you can't kill Jimmy. You yeah. don't have a show without Jimmy. Yeah. It, it's going to be Jimmy Nucky, on my prediction, to the end of the series. Uh, so I said, no, it's got to be, it's got to be the lesbian hippie chick. Yeah. So he shoots the lesbian. 
then he's horrified. You can see because th oh, there's yeah. a decency under underneath all of him. There's a fairness and decency to him. So he was a little upset, but then he knew he had a fall through. We'll give you money. We'll give you money. And did you see his reaction over the money? Such a great actor. It was mm -hmm. almost like, like you think this is this is about money. Yeah. Like it's like no, the the I I'm not going to hurt him by taking money. Anyone yeah. can exchange money. No, I'm going to hurt him by killing his wife. Yeah, and she was like, I have a son. And then he said, um, darling, you have everything that's important in life. And then he shoots her. Did you know what that was about? Or uh, the most important thing you have, your husband is your health. this to you. Is your health, yeah, and that's that's Is that it. what he meant? Yeah, it's your life and your health. Because money, and again, I, I love this because a lot of my Jewish friends, they don't really, they're more they're confident that they will earn money you mm -hmm. know and so it's not about it's it's not and unfortunately it's the stereotype i've always found so wrong about like them being like so into money and yeah. it's, it's no i don't really see that they're very confident that they will be successful they will make money so he knows money comes and goes but no it's it's actually your life that's most important and mm. you know what and that's exactly what your guy just tried to take from me yeah the five thousand was one thing yeah but then you come try to kill me no that's what's most important yeah and i'm gonna Life. and that i'm gonna show you and your husband i didn't do this again i'm a fair man mm -hmm. and that's why you know i, I was debating like he's fair he does he has a decent uh, there's an underlying decency to him too he's just a real tough businessman very yeah. very tough but he's not psychotic and cruel i don't see yeah. that in him yeah i just see him being a hard hard businessman and in that in that world in the, i didn't think he'd do it well, again, for business, it made sense to do it. Yeah. Because now you sh you you show you don't just show Jimmy, you show Doyle, and you show everyone else. You never cross me. Yeah. And so for for that business, in that world, that's how you have to be, or don't be in it. You yeah. If, uh, if you're yeah. gonna be in that world, yeah. That's how you have to be. Yeah. And. But you know, his son is gonna wake up and find that. So now, what we're gonna see next week. Is the fact that Jimmy's son we totally traumatized? But imagine oh, Jimmy seeing his wife on top of some I know. a lesbian lover, yeah. yeah, with bullets. And think of this guy went so far to then shoot them both in the head to make sure it was. It I was know done. he was really, really, really getting the job crazy. Done. And I remember, you know, I, I usually bring my sheet to studio that has that tells us who these people uh, really are and mm, he was like a real historically? character mm. i know there's there's a waxy gordon and there is a uh, there was a manny and i want to see how he perishes yeah <laughs> so good to see if if it yeah. gives us a clue as to what's going to happen to him i don't feel he's going to survive this yeah i don't think so i don't think he's going to be there you know and i guess i guess with, it'll it'll come up more in predictions when we talk about where this is all going to go um al capone is such like a bonehead Oh, he's an idiot, but he, but you know, but you know by on. the way, he, uh, but by the way, why I love this show, uh, the true, the true historians claim that that's what he was. That's crazy. He was just a psychotic madman. Yeah. You know, just, really just kill, hot kill, head. kill, hothead yeah. killer. He wasn't really this super smart chess player as a leader. He was, that's not what he was. He no. was, he was just, he was a crazy man, made a big name for himself and he was ruthless, but he wasn't so smart. Uh, and again, we're seeing Muppet Baby Al Capone. We're <laughs> yeah. seeing Baby Al Capone, so we're even seeing something more, more dumb, more thuggish. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I just again, to the way they ended, it was like, wow. Oh. So we ended. So we ended on that note. And and he said at the very when the uh, Mr. Doyle came the, with a neck brace and stuff. Yep. Um, Manny said, "Okay, well, I'll take the money." So that means that he's going to sell the alcohol. The, the whiskey. He's going to pay yeah. you in whiskey, right? Okay, so that's he's going to do that then? No, he said, yeah. He said, I'll, of course, I'll take the money. And business is business. I'm going to have my 5000 And now where is he? Yeah. Because, no, he. this is what happened. He tried to kill me. No, Waxy Gordon tried to kill you. No, that doesn't make sense to me. What yeah. makes sense is this guy tried to kill me. He failed. Now he's going to give me money to get out of it. And he's so ballless he's sending you. So you can see why he surmised it. Yeah, it makes. I could see that. It, it, it makes. It's totally logic. Anyone. Right. 
it's totally logical that he would surmise that, which yeah. again, wasn't Jimmy's intention. It's just Jimmy's just too overwhelmed. He's like, yeah, just pay the guy. So not so, not, not so good. I mean, uh, again, we'll have lots to talk about in predictions. Yes. Let's, let's go to commercial and then we'll come back up and, and yeah, and we'll try to figure out what's going to happen in the next two shows. Mm -hmm. Nuts. After Buzz TV. Hi, I was once like you. A lazy, angry loner whose only joy was watching TV and surfing the net. And, like you, after I'd see one of my favorite TV shows, I'd be so excited and have so many questions that I'd actually have to talk to my douchebag co-workers about it at the water cooler. Then, I discovered AfterBuzzTV.com. AfterBuzz TV produces after-show webcasts and podcasts for TV series of all kinds like post-game wrap-up shows for all your favorite TV shows. AfterBuzz TV hosts are industry insiders who break down episodes of shows, take calls from fans, and interview cast and crew from each series with over 60 different after shows, from Boardwalk Empire to American Idol to Vampire Diaries to Real Housewives and more. Now, after a night of TV, I can ignore my stupid co-workers, who I hate, and go straight to my desk and watch or listen to all my favorite AfterBuzz TV after shows and have all the TV fan interaction I need. Thank you, AfterBuzz TV. AfterBuzz TV. What do you want to buzz about? I laughed when I thought <laughs> Sir Richard Wentworth had his very best. What so do you want to buzz, buzz about? about <laughs> my co-workers, who I hate. <laughs> Oh, very funny stuff. Uh, I think we just have to go right into predictions. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, we, we I don't even know why we bother watching the end of the show because yeah. it's so cryptic. It just goes back to The Sopranos, the HBO style. Like, what? We have no idea. But I think it's going to be another rough Rough day for Nucky, for Mrs. Schroeder, for Jimmy. Mm. I think there's going to be more suffering next episode. I think Jimmy's going to end up going to Nucky. I think he's going to need that, that help that much. I think so, too. And that's why I guess what I was going to, you know, I was going to ask you. It was like, you know, I don't think there won't be any alliance between Eli and Nucky, but is it time for it? Will Jimmy, and I guess you're agreeing, Jimmy will go. Yeah, and... or at least like his son will go now that his son doesn't have a, a mother anymore. She took care of him. Mr. You know? Sh oh, so... oh, I mean, I mean, Jimmy's son will go to Nucky. Well, well someone has to. Take no, care no, of don't Jimmy's forget, son. moms. We, now, Mumsy, we haven't seen Ginny. Oh yeah. So so oh, she. Well, we we saw at least a, a glimpse of her. And I'm sure she's going to be filled with her usual horrible advice. Oh, uh, yeah, she's creepy. so I. I I don't know. Maybe if if it ha if they get together, it'll be the last episode. I don't think it'll be this mm. episode. Yeah, that's true. There's two episodes left. Do you think that they're going to go into heroin? Wow. Yeah, man. Who knows? Is that like again foreshadowing for today? Is that something subtle for the seasons to come? It's very interesting you bring that up, though. It's yeah, very interesting that you bring that up. Because we know that it happens somewhere. So just, it's already going around. They're already going to test it He said, it let's out. get it to the artists. Let's get to the higher end people, which is funny because in the past, I thought they were going to say the opposite. Let's get it to the blacks. Yeah. Like, like that was always the, you know, like in The Godfather, it was like in the 50s, like, oh, no, no, we won't sell it to our own people. Yeah, we'll just sell, don't we'll just, Yeah, we'll sell it to the blacks. So it's interesting that they're like, no, let's sell it to the high end people. They're like, it's better than opium. I don't know. You know, maybe that's going to be the quick, that's going to be the quick way to make money. I kind of i don't know why i feel like nucky would be would be like um don corleone and against drugs yeah i don't know why my too. instinct is that like the old school guys weren't into that yeah you know it feels like the, again again the, the muppet babies would be perfect yeah. to bring up to like let's sell drugs you're right that's a good point because they wouldn't just bring that up and not pay it off yeah so so this there's definitely something there um I, I mean, I don't know. I know that I can't see I can't see Van Alden doing any favors for Nucky, yeah. and Eli is going to sell him out. So we do have this new attorney. Thank you for our Jewish businessmen. Yes. I just love yeah, I, and I, I love Rothstein. Yeah. And again, 
kudos to these actors. Yeah. They're fantastic. They really are amazing. Oh, my goodness. I, you know, I didn't want to. Jesse, before we go out, can you look up in tonight's episode, whoever played the priest? He's definitely a voiceover mm. guy. Like, I've heard that voice too yeah, many times. Yeah, he has a great voice. Amazing voice. But uh, I, I love how, you know, once Nucky saw the Black Sox scandal ad, it made him think, okay, Rothstein might know somebody. Mm. And there, you know, Rothstein's yeah, just exactly. in the office. I'm a gambler. I bet on lo- I, I, I'd I gamble- rather bet on a bet long, on the long shot. shot. You know, yeah. It's just like, yeah. it's just so, so great. And, you know, unfortunately, in history, Rothstein gets it. Mm. He dies. So it'll be interesting to see. Do you know how? He's shot. Mm. I'm pretty sure. And so it'll be interesting to see if that gets paid off this season, next season, season after, or at any point at all. Yeah. My feeling is it will at some point. But he's a great character. I hope it's not anytime soon. Yeah. And, you know, and, and you know, going back a little bit, when, um, when Angela got killed, I always feel badly being in the business that we're in. I always feel bad for the actor. Yeah. Like, oh my, because it's like, Which oh, one, oh, the one that gets killed. Who, off the girl the plays show. Angela. It's like, wow, Madge, you, this is not the show you want to be. And Madge getting the script and yeah, reading like, it. Oh. I felt bad too. Yeah, your heart, it's, you know, and you see it a lot in these shows, especially for the regulars. I mean, this is, I mean, yes, this is a gig that will, will launch them, but, you, you know, you still want a job. You want a job and you want to stay on as long as you can. You yeah, want really, this is a great job. You want to get a long ride out and of it. And now she's she's never going to come back now. No, there's, that's it. She's dead. off unless it's like, I don't know, they, they do something in dreams, which I hate when they do yeah, that. Yeah, I know. That's when they bring so the actors cool. back anyway. Um, his name is Michael Stolbar. What has he done, Jesse, on IMDb, does it say? Uh, his projects? Check him out. Uh, Hugo, God in America, A Serious Man. He's been on Ugly Betty, oh, The American Experience. Man. Body of Lies, Law and Order, Damages. Maybe I remember him from Okay, damages. he's been in a lot. Yeah. A lot of TV. Any cartoons, Jesse, or anything like that where it's just his voice? No. Maybe it's commercials, I know. Anyway, I mean, uh, you know, not a bad actor in the bunch on this. Yeah, oh, definitely. Oh, well, listen, my God. One thing we know is revealed next week, it does. I'm like being such a blow-off artist here today. <laughs> Sorry. It's it. She she admits she cheated. I know. So that's huge. Mr. Short admits to Nucky that she cheated. I know. Oh, I just. And uh, it looks like Nucky throws a punch at. That's what it at looks the Irishman. like. Like what a feeling of betrayal. Oh, I know. That's you know so what? awful. You never they know. Doing well. But you know, Michelle, it's looking more and more as though the. I don't know. It's as may, maybe maybe Jimmy and Nucky are gonna have to unite because, mm. you know, for him to feel betrayed by his right his like new right hand man, would make him you know more. Yeah. I I I, I love. Yeah, it's funny, and again, I, we keep backing up. I love how I we love the character of Richard. Oh I yeah. I said to Michelle during tonight's episode, I go, I wish Richard could work at After Buzz. Yeah. How great should. would he be? Yes, definitely. Just so awesome, so loyal, but I love how he. He has respect for the Irishman and, he, you know, this like kind of respect for him. And he has this respect for Nucky as well. Yeah. He's like, no, I won't, I won't kill him. He's like, said that before. Um, it's interesting. He's, he's the most solid. Yeah. Out of the, he's the most solid out of the bunch. The good guy. He's like a good guy. I would trust him with anything. That's what it seems like. And Not it's, anybody it, else. He, well, and he's resentful of Jimmy, I think, for being so disrespectful of his family. I yeah. think. Um, and his I wife. Think, yes. yes, he does. He doesn't. He likes the wife. And I think he looks at him like you have everything, and yet you yeah. just piss on it. Yeah. Whereas, like, I, you know, I would, I'd give up everything yeah, to have what you that's have. That's true. You know. Definitely. Um, but 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 yeah, when when that, when when she admits, which I again I buy it, the Catholic guilt. It's like I I have to get this out of my system. I know. And it's like this is why it happened, you know, and and and. Um, and obviously, it's still not getting better because if she confesses, I think she thinks. That yeah, it's gonna get then better. Then God will forgive no. her or something. Right, right. And again, that's the the Catholic thing. That they, the whole the whole th- whole confession, you know, which we saw in early episodes, and which is part of their religion. It's like, oh, if you if you have sins, well, you just go and confess, and yeah. then all will be well. Yeah. But you know. But she's yeah. Yeah. Going no. all the wrong people. Yeah. So uh, I think we're gonna have a very. Great episode next week, but a messy one. Yeah, definitely. Messy, messy one. I hope I, I I'm big on uh resolution in season finales. I'm big on that. And then we can pick it up next I season know, with yeah, new I traumas. Hate when, yeah. I hate when it's like it's just left 
with a cliff hanging mess I and we have that. to wait like months and months. No, it months. stresses me out. It is. It's so stressful. It's, it's too not, much. Especially when it's good, when it's good television. Uh, all right, Michelle, I think we've said everything we can say on this. Yes. Where, where do we, um, where can we find you on Twitter? Oh, on Twitter, you can find me at Macedo Music. M-A-C-E-D-O Music. Yes. And uh, Michelle, what do you have? I know you're, um, oh, this I know you're a buddy week, musician. What, so what, do you, what scams do you have going on? Oh, well, this week we have a show on Thursday at the Falcon on Sunset. Nice. What time? That's at 8. The Falcon? Yeah. It's a restaurant. It's actually a really nice, classy oh, restaurant. Oh, look at you. Yeah. I'm used to seeing you at the Viper Room. I know. And we got a gig at the Hotel Cafe, too, in January. All right. So, what? Really so, but what is this next? This is the Falcon yeah. Room Thursday. What's the date? Uh, December 1st. December 1st at in eight. LA on Sunset. Come at eight have dinner. It's a super nice place. Okay. Really classy. We will see the Macedo Twins and. Um, they're all American band. I just added that. <laughs> That's a and good the one. The Twins and the All American Band will be performing. Uh, anything else? Um, yeah, this week was our radio debut, and next week our music video is finally going to be. And so where do we go? And where do we? Where do I go to get your music? iTunes? Well, what? Yeah, iTunes. So iTunes, iTunes, and we search out. Macedo. M A C E D O. Okay, so make sure you search out uh, Michelle's music. Is it ninety nine cents? Do we get a single, or do yeah. we just? Really? You can get a single. 99, 99 cents. cents. That's why, And it's worth it. It's worth it. You're giving to a Thank good you. cause. Come uh, send me a text. Or no, is it a text or a tweet? At, at Undergaro. U-N-D-E-R-G-A-R-O. And uh, please, 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 please spread the word about AfterBuzz TV. And tune in, at least for our show next week, for Boardwalk yeah, Empire. Next. From producers Kevin Undergaro and Phil Svitek, engineer DJ Jesse Janity, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. If you have questions or comments, be sure to buzz us at info at AfterBuzzTV.com. And you can find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter by searching for AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.